there's no male female. There's no uh, Jew or Greek. There's no slave or free, but we're all one in Christ. I think the first thing to understand in, in that verse is, is that Paul is not denying that there are differences and distinctions. What he's, what he's rejecting is that those social and racial, Jew-Gentile would be racial distinctions, do not grant one a status within the family of Abraham and particularly within the family of God. So, so, then, so then one thing we've got to understand is, is that the Bible never ignores the reality of distinction. Um, he created some from every tongue, tribe, people, and nation. He created them male and female. He, there, there were slaves and free people. Um, so, so one way maybe we can sort of have a balance is recognize, on the one hand, God cares about unifying all things and all people in Christ. And all people reflect God's image. Disabled people, uh, regardless of your race, all people reflect the image of God. And, and God cares about reconciling all people to Himself and to each other. And everybody has a distinct representation that not all people will share. Uh, I'm a bald, light-skinned black man. Um, there are many folks at this conference who don't share that posture, so there are clear differences. However, on the other hand, those the, the differences that we have and the different postures that we have and the different social statuses that we have, they're transformed in Christ, so then everything about who I am in Christ, it's impossible for me to be that without being a black man who's bald. I'm still a black man who is bald, but now my, my in Christ identity shapes my black or brown identity, and so everything about who I am needs to be filtered through the lens of Jesus and the gospel, which then means that I must intentionally pursue the other, whoever the other might be, so that we can reciprocally build each other up in, in Christ without eradicating our distinctions. Because if we eradicate our distinctions, that takes away some beauty of the gospel, right? It's beautiful that we are brothers and you don't share my ethnic posture, right? We are family, more so than those in my family who are not Christians. So I think holding those two things in tension with the biblical text uh, guiding us is a way by which maybe to weave these things together without denying both realities.